and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming from a different part of my apartment again. I'm trying to find my setup. For those of you who already follow me, I moved to New York a month ago, so I'm still actually nearly two months ago now. I'm trying to get set up in my new place. I do a lot of fashion videos. I've been doing a lot of vlogs, kind of sharing my journey of moving and all that kind of stuff. But um, I haven't quite found the setup that works for me yet for fashion videos. Um, I'm back today with an ASOS autumn fall kind of haul. It's a quick one, it's not as long, there's not as many outfits as it usually is, but there was some really nice pieces that I wanted to show you. And I know it's coming up to Black Friday, so even to like keep an eye out for discounts and stuff. They did one the other day, they'll probably be doing them now and they'll run up to it. And it is that type of time of year where it's really getting a lot colder, like the temperature has dropped. So I suppose to have your coats kind of at the ready is, and your autumn outfits, your autumn fall outfits is really important. But uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. I have loads of videos coming and I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And I love that those of you who do follow me, you're really enjoying them too, so that makes me so happy. But um, anyway, I'm gonna get stuck in. I have five different outfits from ASOS to show you. They're all kind of autumn, autumnal. I didn't have to put tan on for this um, haul, so that tells you a lot. So I'm gonna get started with the first suit. If you guys follow me, you know I love a good suit. This one is a sleeveless kind of waistcoat top. It's kind of satin, it gives off that uh, kind of metallic feel. Um, it's fitted. I got a size 10 and I did find it quite um, tight. So I would size up, definitely size up. Um, but it's a really nice fit. It's supposed to kind of give you some shape, so I love the way it kind of cinches in at the waist. You've got the fake kind of pocket detail and button details. And I just love this color. I've said that before for autumn. I just think this is such a fall color, as they say. Um, and then the trousers that go with that are kind of tailored in style. And I just think this looks so expensive and it's not. Um, I will link everything below in the description box. So if you want to see more about materials or sizes, as you can see, these are a little bit cropped on me, but I'm also 5'10", so bear that in mind. If you're any bit shorter than me, then they'll be probably a better length on you. Uh, I think this is perfect for a night out, for any sort of events you have coming up. I am actually going out for dinner tomorrow and I was trying to, I was racking my brain trying to figure out what I was going to wear, but I think this is just perfect, so I'll probably wear that. Because it's dressy, but it's also like, you know, you're not, you don't have your legs out, you're kind of warm, I guess. Okay, so I totally forgot to talk about the outfit I was wearing because I was wearing it, but I want to show you because I love this outfit. I love the trousers, they're a really nice fit. I went to size up in them for comfort and the jumper is just so cool. I love the shape, but I love the, how thick the neck is and how high it comes up and that it's cropped. I wore this the other night to a dinner. Um, I just think it looks very like Scandinavian and yeah, I love it. Okay, moving on to the next outfit. Um, next, I'm moving on to this lilac wool coat, which I wore last week. I'll put in a picture of me wearing it. This is so warm. If you're looking for a warm coat, this is so warm. And I just love that it has a color. I find too much of my wardrobe becomes black and neutrals and grays at this time of year. Um, as much as I love those colors, it is nice to be able to mix and match in some color as well. I love the length of this. I love oversized coats. I think they just look very chic. Um, and then you can kind of wear your blacks and your whites underneath it. It's, I find in winter coats are the most important piece, winter and autumn, the most important piece in your wardrobe because it doesn't really matter what you have underneath because you can't really see. So to have like a nice statement coat I think is so important. And ASOS have some really nice ones. So this, I got this in a size eight. And as you can see, very oversized, so I would order your normal size for this. It's also got some nice big pockets and it's lined on the inside. I wore this yesterday, it was probably too soon to wear it. Um, like it's getting colder, but it's not quite this level of cold yet. So that makes me feel better about the colder weather that I have something to wear when it comes. And then inside that I had this, oh sorry, it's inside out, not organized this tank top, but um, I just like this because it's got the square neck. Just think it's something a little bit different. Um, small details like that can make a difference, you know? And I'm also wearing in both the last outfit and this outfit, um, the necklace, this kind of love heart chain necklace. Just love that, I love gold necklaces and I love the way that's got the kind of layer as well. Um, got this in a size eight too. It's kind of short, it's kind of on the short side, so 
if you have a long body you might want to consider sizing up because my body is actually quite short it's just my legs that are long believe it or not and then with that i had these um jeans these denim jeans from asos these are very comfy i've never tried asos jeans before and i was really impressed the quality they're really thick like they feel almost like levi's i nearly call them levi's just there i got a size 28 which is a size 10 um and a 32 leg i would have gone for a longer leg if they had the option to when they did um so yeah i would size up in these because i find when denim is a little bit more true denim you know when it's that thicker material it doesn't stretch as easily and there is nothing worse than an uncomfortable pair of jeans especially like this kind of style like i'd call that mom style you know i have to double check the name it probably is mom style but uh or straight leg maybe but yeah i do find that for jeans in particular i'll always size up because i won't wear them if they're not comfy you know that kind of way so yeah that's that and then the next outfit i'm going to show you is this kind of denim khaki trench coat i got this in a size 10 i love the feel of it if like the quality is amazing it feels like something i don't know much more expensive you've got the belt and you've got the bag on the belt hang on actually quite heavy and then you've got the kind of buckle details on the sleeve the sleeves are thick enough that you can push them up, scrunch them up and then I like to tie the belt detail around the waist to kind of cinch it in and give you some shape and I usually pull it in a little bit at the back and pull it out the bottom just to kind of give you that like hourglass shape. Um, I love that the collar of this, the lapels are really thick and I just love khaki, I think it's a great fall colour. Um, fall, autumn again, don't know which one to say anymore when I'm here. Um, and then this is lined on the inside as well, so you actually do have some warmth in there. The joys of living in New York, sorry. <laughs> um, inside this I wore a plain Topshop basic t-shirt. I actually love these kind of things, these good basic t-shirts, like it's so thick. And it's a little bit more expensive than one you'd buy in like, I don't know, ASOS or maybe not ASOS. Uh, pennies or whatever or H&M but the quality is like so good and they have the sleeves already rolled up and I love the neckline of it so I'll try and find a link for that and I'll link that too oh and with this I paired it with a beanie hat I don't know where the beanie hat is now probably through it somewhere but um I love these kind of plain black hats plain color hats I think are great to have in your wardrobe for the winter to mix and match with different outfits um because you need you need to be warm and then if you don't have them you can't wear them so yeah then my last outfit i'm going to show you is this crazy oversized coat oh my god it's like moss green what size did i get this in 10 okay i would probably say stick with your normal size for this because it's so big like i can't ima imagine trying to pack a coat like this it's huge but i do think it's very like victoria beckham it's very chic um simple and it's great like for you know those really cold days when you don't really want to wear like a duffel coat you want to look like nice something like this is so perfect for that um yeah i paired it with all black the top inside is just from h&m i got that years ago it's like a sleeveless kind of high rise top but i think a, a polo neck or a turtle neck would be perfect as well and then i have my spanx leggings to have here they're plain ones i love these I just think they're so handy, they're so comfy. So this is like a really comfy but really warm outfit for when the winter comes. Um, so yeah, I love these, I really recommend them. I'm 5'10 and they're, they're long enough for me and I really wouldn't have expected them to be. Um, but I, they're about 90 to 100 euro, or euro dollars. I'll put the link anyway in the description but I would really recommend them. And I have the biker ones as well and I get so much wear out of them. That is everything, I hope you found this helpful i hope you saw some things that you liked um i know as i said it's shorter than my usual ones but i just i did want to show you because i think they are nice pieces and you know coats are obviously something that you kind of want a little bit of an opinion on before you buy because they're so expensive it can be hard when you're buying them online so hopefully this gave you some insight and hopefully we have some discounts coming up over the next while follow me on instagram louise cooney underscore and i'll keep you updated on those and i'll be doing lots more for black friday so definitely stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys